This is a demonstration of downloading the firmware from the support.lenovo.com website, or in this case, datacentersupport.lenovo.com for a Lenovo networking switch. The first thing you need to do is to specify the product name in the Find Your Product search bar. For this example, we'll use a G8332. When the result shows, select the switch from the list. Scroll down to see a list of the available downloads. To upgrade, you want to find the most recent version. For CNOS, that is release 10. For ENOS, it is release 8. Click the hyperlink to see the available files for that version. You will have a choice from a list of files. You want to download the zip file, which is the largest file, by clicking on the corresponding download icon. The download will begin and save to the default location as per your browser settings. Once the download completes, open the download's location and open the zip with the applicable application. In this case, we're using 7-zip. You will see two things, a MIBS folder and an images file. You want the images file which will be the largest file. Extract the images file to the server, which can be FTP, TFTP, or SFTP, or a USB key so that it can be used to load onto the switch. Next, you'll need to connect to the management port on the switch. For this example, we're using PuTTY. You can use a similar SSH client. With the connection type set to SSH, you supply the IP address of the management port. The default is 192.168.50.50. In this demo, we're not using the default. Then, select Open to establish a connection. You're prompted for login. Use the default admin or equivalent credentials. If using the default credentials, you might see a message to change the admin credentials. With a connection to the management port established, you will load the firmware onto the switch. You can see we have already done a show boot to get the details of the active firmware. In this case, the switch already has the most current version 10.7, but we will demonstrate how to load this version regardless. The load is done using the copy command. In this case, we are using the TFTP protocol. So provide the TFTP URL using the source server and file name. The file naming convention represents the model and the OS. Next, enter where on the system you want to load the file. In this case, the system image and all portions of the system image. Lastly, you specify how the system image is reached. In this case, via the management port. You're prompted to confirm the downloaded. The download process will display and may take a few minutes to complete. Once the download is complete, the installation process will start. This puts the file into flash memory as appropriate. The status is displayed as the process proceeds. Once the installation is complete, you're prompted to change the standby image. Type Y for yes and press enter. When you're ready, you can now reboot the switch with the reload command. Confirm the reboot with a Y for yes.